My feature this week is all about the newly announced Archetype Entertainment, which is the new studio that Wizards of the Coast just launched, featuring what seems to be shaping up as the Avengers of video game developers, with a lot of Bioware vets coming on board and a grand sweeping call for video game development talent the world over. Now, the studio, like I said, is named Archetype Entertainment, and they seem to be focused on or working on an original sci-fi based RPG, which is a completely new intellectual property so i'm really excited to see what's coming down the line for this we don't have a ton of information yet but i wanted to take a look at the who's who of this new studio and who some of these bioware vets are and why we should trust that our uh, future hopes for rpgs particularly in the DD realm or anything new and fresh is uh, warranted and why we should or could be excited about this it was announced a couple of weeks ago that wizards had snapped up some really great high talent vets from bioware which of course, it's a studio behind a lot of really notable uh, high profile RPGs and story based games like Knights of the Old Republic, Star Wars, the Old Republic, Mass Effect, Dragon Age Origins. Like these are pretty big AAA titles that all had a really distinct focus on story. As somebody who's a big fan of Bioware before the uh, we'll say the dark times of the last year, I'm really excited to, to hear that this talent has been scooped up by wizards and deployed in this kind of fashion. Now, a lot of these video game veterans and uh, high quality talent members said that uh, they were becoming quite disenfranchised in the last days of Bioware and that this new project already seems to be infusing some of the enjoyable features and relations that they had and really enjoyed in their early days with Bioware around creating those titles that I just mentioned. So like I said, these folks were at the helm of Bioware in its heyday. I'm not talking about Andromeda and Anthem, but rather KOTOR and uh, the new Star Wars, or the new at the time Star Wars MMO, The Old Republic, which I played healthily in an unhealthy way. Uh, and Dragon Age Origins, which I dumped a lot of hours into. Of course, Mass Effect 1 and 2 specifically, which were the golden ages of Bioware as a studio. Now, Bioware was always focused on creating impactful, decision-making-based, story-related RPGs with meaningful characters and memorable engagements. Uh, and a lot of other things that were really exciting to me in RPGs and clearly a lot of other gamers in the world. Now, of course, Bioware recently caught a lot of flack for Anthem and the horrible delivery of that. Andromeda also was a little bit lackluster, particularly for fans of the Mass Effect franchise. At the same time, you'll remember that Bioware became infamous for uh, the expose that shone light on the really less than preferable working conditions at the studio. But this is all after the, uh, the early days when they were really clicking and firing on all cylinders. Okay, so let's say we're getting a great roster of a very high pedigree of video game development talent from Bioware to really drive this new studio endeavor from Wizards of the Coast with a focus on narrative story-driven RPGs. Why should we trust them and who the hell are they? Now most recently they stated that they had recruited Drew Karpishin into the team as a lead writer on this new sci-fi RPG and uh, Drew was formerly the lead writer for Mass Effect 1 and 2. He also wrote the game materials for Baldur's Gate and he was a lead writer or senior writer on Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, so like I said, he'll be in place as a lead writer for the studio that was announced la late last month. And the studio itself is led by ex-Bioware creative director James Olin, who was a very well-known fixture in AAA game development at the time. So to quote uh, from Drew's own website, when I started at Bioware, everything was fresh and exciting. It was a dream job, talented people working together to create epic games like Baldur's Gate, KOTOR, Mass Effect, and Dragon Age. But as we grew and became more successful, things changed. We became more corporate. We were less able to make what we loved. And the teams were pushed to create games based on the market research rather than our creative instincts and passions. I fully believe this. We've seen way too much of this in the game development sphere these days. He went on to say, my dream job became just a job. And I lost the enthusiasm and excitement that I once had. That's really... Um, you know, it's great perspective. A lot of people out there, they dream of having a career in the video games industry. And those dreams are reasonably founded. We love games. We love gaming. Who wouldn't want to do this for the rest of their lives? But when you hear things like this, it's it's really disheartening and it's saddening that uh, these are the types of things that they had to go through. So we hope that there are brighter roads ahead for Drew and the rest of the team at Archetype Entertainment. Continuing on, Drew said, but with Archetype, my passion has been rekindled. The feel in the studio 
studio reminds me of my early days of Bioware. I can feel the magic in the air. And even though I can't get too deep into the specifics, reasonably so, of what we're working on just yet, unfortunately, we're already gathering plenty of excitement in the industry. I know we have big shoes to fill. With Bioware, I was part of a legacy that will endure forever. We created some of the most beloved RPGs of the past two decades, but I truly believe at Archetype we have the talent and the opportunity to do something just as amazing. So some promising words, a really great credo from uh, Drew Karpishin. Hopefully we can all get just as excited and they can deliver. It has also been said by various members of this team that Archetype Entertainment will be an autonomous partner to Wizards of the Coast or an autonomous arm of Wizards of the Coast. And they've really been very careful around the language of saying that we're going to be the developers, we're going to do the developing, and Wizards is going to oversee the brand. And that seems to be the approach that they've, they've taken with all of these announcements. So I think that's promising. So moving on to James Olin, who was previously the creative director at BioWare. He uh, headed up the Austin studio, particularly around the time when the new massively multiplayer online role-playing game Star Wars The Old Republic was in development. And I was a beta tester for that. I was in a launch guild. I put a lot of heart and soul into that game and while yeah it got a lot of flack for being kind of a wow clone let's be honest in the early 2000s everything that came out in the mmo space was a wow clone or some kind of wow killer and those that that's a pretty high bar to to meet anyway i really loved the game and story-wise nothing came close i was able to level from base to max in that game without even blinking because the process of character development and story was so rich it was entirely voiced every single word was vo and the story was second to none and each character had its own story i literally leveled every single class you could play from 1 to 60 and never once felt like I was grinding. So hopefully that's a good omen for what's to come from James Olin and the crew. Now James Olin was also the lead designer on Neverwinter Nights, a Baldur's Gate and Mass Effect as well. Uh, Baldur's Gate, the first iteration was one of the earliest isometric action story driven RPGs that hit the market, certainly in the D&D multiverse. And of course we're also looking forward to the new iteration of Baldur's Gate 3 coming from Larian Studios. James Olin's swan song in this whole mix was the Star Wars MMO The Old Republic, which like I said did get a little bit of flack for its time, but most players who you speak to who experience that game will only say good things about the story and the narrative that backed the whole thing. Rounding out the team as far as ex-Bioware vets go is Chad Robertson, who is also the uh, studio director in Austin and he will be the general manager of the studio. He was uh, formerly with Bioware in that role, which is really more about the controls and administration of how the teams are deploying against these types of projects. Yes, as a disclaimer, he was also the director of live services for Anthem, but uh, it would be unfair to saddle the shade that came with Anthem entirely in uh, Chad Robertson's court. So let's give him a chance on this one. So that's a little bit of a snapshot of the team and the type of pedigree of talent that Wizards is putting together against this and future projects from Archetype Entertainment. So let's talk about some of the projects and milestones that we're expecting from the studio out of the gate. Well, like we said, they're literally building the office right now and the team still is building. They're still hiring a lot of high profile development positions in the studio itself. Uh, they're working towards a completely original sci-fi RPG intellectual property, and it is going to be a multi-platform role-playing game set in an entirely new science fiction universe. They've also stated that this game is going to put the player at the center of an epic personal narrative with impactful choices that will make a difference in how their game plays out. And this has always been a big hallmark of Bioware, so I think we can take that at face value. It's been said under James Olin's lead leadership that the mantra of the studio reflects things he really felt were missing in Bioware in his last days with the company, including the fact that game studios should empower top developers and challenge them with ambitious products, and that they're shaped by strong, clearly communicative creative vision and if there's one thing that wizards is clear on it's their vision for dungeons and dragons especially in this new renaissance so beyond that the details are fairly light but the 
the CEO of Hasbro did eke that there was a significant announcement and reveal coming on February 21st, specifically speaking to the uh, future of its games and gaming positions around Dungeons and Dragons and Magic the Gathering. And like I said, they're currently hiring for all high level game development positions. So if that's you or you've got a skill set and you want to work for some of the best talent in AAA video game development and one of the uh, greatest role playing games in the world, as they say, maybe check them out. It's archetype-entertainment.com. Toss me your resume and good luck to you.